now recording so let's have a look uh, we're starting a new chapter sequence and series so let's have a look here sequence and series page uh, 36 right I think these are both words that you know sequence and series yeah what exactly, guys, fun. what exactly would we say a sequence is? Yes. Yeah, it's a pattern, yeah, so. Yeah? Say again? There is an order to it, yeah. We need a little bit more. A sequence, well, okay, so firstly, it's an ordered list of numbers but we need a, a little bit more a little bit more it's not quite enough just to say this yeah so nearly nearly i would say that follow or obey a rule whatever that rule is okay so we'll have a look at some um, examples uh, we can try and figure out what the rule is so our first example minus 1 1 4 8 13 19 what would you say the rule is here what's it look like is happening This one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six. So the next one plus seven. So that'll be 26 then. Okay. It's not it's always so clear. Uh, maybe we'll do... Um, yeah, what about, what about something like this one? One, uh, four, nine, sixteen. What would be next? 25. And what's the rule? Uh, nearly squaring. Yeah, squaring. 25. Okay. Yes? Yes? Right, let's do another one. Uh, a little bit trickier now. Next. <coughs> no. No. The first one's even though. And it's missing nine. <laughs> it's what I've <laughs> Why thirteen? It is thirteen. Yeah, what are they called? Yeah, what are those numbers called? Prime numbers, yeah. Uh, let's do two more examples. What's next now? This one here? They're all prime numbers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What about the next one? <laughs> random numbers. <laughs> Not random. All right. Uh, all positive. Well, what's the next one? Uh, is it natural? They're all natural. So. But that doesn't tell me the rule. Anybody see it? Nobody sees it? Yeah. You increase one, switch time minus. No. One and no. You increase it by no. one and switch time. No. 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 Nice try. Nice try. try. <laughs> All right. Uh, Anybody? No. No. 
Right. Next one is 5, and these are the numbers for pi. Oh. 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 It's so obvious now. Right, I'll give you um, one more and then we'll look onto something else. So, this last one's extremely tricky. If you thought that last one was tricky, this one's very tricky. So, uh, Yeah, okay. Try this one. Is this one is one? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. One 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 three one four one one three six one two three one and what's next? One. It's not. And it's not. Uh, yeah, go on, you've got a, a chance. But I'll need the rule too, you know. Right, so, I don't think you're going to get it. You're not going to get it. Even if you do guess the right number, you're not going to tell me what the rule is. So, uh, the next one here is four. Uh, and this is how this sequence works. Now, the reason I'm showing you all these examples is I'm trying to get you to understand that the rule doesn't need to be a formula. Okay, it doesn't have to be like, 2x plus 1 or 2x minus 1. Okay, the rule can actually be something a little bit more uh, abstract. So this is how this sequence works. This is the rule, okay, if you watch carefully. So the way this sequence works, uh, you start off by writing down just a 1 for the first term. Then uh, you say what you have, writing down the numbers as you say them. Okay, so what you do is you look at this and you say what you have. I have 1 one and then you say what you have again what have i got i have three ones okay now what do i have i have four ones and one tray i have what have i got four ones and one tree now what have i got seven ones and so on Two trees and one four. Or whatever. Is it not one, two, three, four? Sorry. Six ones, one tree and one four. Nine ones, two trees, two fours and one six. Scandal, you got the questions. Yeah? Yeah. Tricky, huh? All right, just one more, an easy one now. I think this is one that you've all seen before. Um, I think a lot of you have seen this one before. Uh, what's? Yeah, you've seen this one. Yeah. What's What's the next one? 34, and what's the rule? Not that. The two previous. Yeah. So, if you want to get the next number, you add the two to get the next one and so on. Now, uh, I said some of you have probably seen this one before. Does anyone know its name? It's a famous one. No. No, no, it's named after someone. F. Fibonacci, 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 yeah. No? Not heard this one? No? Anyways, let's continue. So, those are just examples of the concept that a sequence is an ordered list that obeys a rule, but the rule need not be a formula. It can be something even a bit more abstract. Now, next example we'll have a look at are sequences that do have a formula to them. So, for example, if I said something like un 
equals 3 plus 4n. So this in the formula represents the nth term where we start with 1 for n. So the first term for this sequence would be u1. That would be 3 plus 4 times 1, which would be 7. And then u2 would be 3 plus 4 times 2, which is 3 plus 8, isn't it? 11. And then u3 would be 3 plus 4 times 3. What's that, 15? Like that. So all of these uh, obey a direct formula. Okay. Sometimes it's possible to write the rule in a formula form. So like for example, uh, I think earlier we did a sequence like this. Uh, what was it? It was a 1, a 4, 9, 16, etc. If you were to write this one as an example uh, in a formula, what would be the formula? Un equals n squared. Yeah? And what about if I had a sequence like 2, 4, 6, and 8, etc.? Et what would be the formula for this one? n plus 2? No, not quite that. 2n. 2n. Yeah? You see? Yeah? No? So if you put in um, 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. It works. Yeah. Um, and then let's do one more. Let's say at un equals n factorial. What's the first one here? Remember this from last week, factorial? One, one factorial is one, two factorial is two, three factorial, six, six four factorial is 24, isn't it? And then uh, 120, I think, the next one perhaps? Five factorial? Is 120? Are you saying that because you believe in me or because you checked? I think it's only because you believe in me. That might be a mistake later in the course. Uh, okay, so that is the general formula. Let's see. Um, one advantage of using this formula is you can jump to any term. So like I could say, for example, here, what is the tenth term in the sequence? So the tenth term would be 20. So it is why it's, it's useful, it's helpful like this. Okay. Right, uh, next now. Next one you definitely need your calculator for for the next one. So if you want to just take it out now. Okay, look, I'm hearing so much non-English, so I don't care who you are. The next time someone in my class is using a language which is not English, I'm kicking you out. I don't care who you are. You're going out the next time I see this happening. Yes? Okay. Okay, you got that written down? Yes? Can I scroll down? Yes. Yep. Okay, so the next type of uh, formula, the last formula you could kind of call it direct or explicit. This next one is called recursive. I'll give you an example. Uh, we'll say un plus 1 equals 1 plus 1 over un. Uh, and for this we could say u1 equals 1 as a piece of extra information. So the reason this is called recursive is because the formula doesn't have an n in it. Where's the n? There's no n present, right? It's not like there's an n up here. So what exactly does this formula mean? Well, what do we think u n plus 1 could represent? Remember we said u n represents the nth term. So what would u n plus 1 represent? What would you call this? So n is the nth term. So what is un plus 1? What could be its meaning? The term after, right. So this would be the next term. Right? And then this would be 1 plus 1 over, and this is the nth term. Or if you want, you could say it, it's like 1 over this term. 
I'll give you an example. Like if you want u2, that would be 1 plus 1 over u1. If you want u3, that would be 1 plus 1 over u2. So you get the next term by saying it's 1 plus 1 over this term. So you notice how I gave you the first term already, u1 is 1. What would u2 be? It'd be 1 plus 1 over 1 in total 2. What would be the next term? It'd be 1 plus 1 over 2. Why 2? Because that was the last term. Uh, what's that? 3 over 2. Yeah. What would be u4? 1 plus 1 over 3 over 2, which is 5 over 3? It's the last term. Uh, no, 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 you need to give me questions. You can't just say you don't understand. So you need to ask me. Yeah, why, which one? For the first one? Yeah. yeah, so it's, if you think about it in words like this, the next term is one of, one plus one over this term. So you start here and then you use this formula, one plus one over this. One plus one over one is two. Then you take the two and do it again. One plus one over two. And you get this. And then you do it again. One plus one over three over two. I can show you on the calculator as well, just to make it a little bit clearer. Now, this is getting uh, a bit different. You might not have seen this before, right? <coughs> recursive. What does the word recursive mean? Like repeat. Like it, it feeds back in on itself. Like a loop. Can you see there's like a loop going on here? You take your answer, you put it back in. You take your answer, you put it back in, etc. Okay. Let's have a look at, uh, on the calculator with this once it opens. So while it's opening, I want you to take out your calculator and give me the next one. <coughs> so what would it be? It'd be 1 plus 1 over 5 over 3, which is 8 over 5. Okay. So what would be the next one? It'd be 1 plus 1 over uh, 8 over, ah, oh, rats, ah, last. Okay, now go away. 1 plus 1 over 8 over 5. Next one is 13 over 8. Um, yeah? This type of question, yeah. if you're asked to find out the 10... This is the problem. You'll have to stop on the question. loop it 10 times. Yeah, yeah. Now, what I want to show you on the calculator, and you should be able to do this on all calculators, is a quick way to calculate the terms here. So, uh, here's my little shortcut for using the calculator. What you do is you start off by putting in the first term. What do we say the first term here for this one was? One. Okay, so you can all do this on your calculator. You type in one, you press equals, and then you press AC. Okay. Then what you do is you type in this formula as follows. 1 plus 1 over answer. Now what value is currently in answer? 1. So what have I really typed in? 1 plus 1 over 1. Excuse me, 2. Now what value is in answer? 2, because I just got a 2. So what's on the screen? 1 plus 1 over 2. You see? Yeah. 5 over 3, 8 over 5, 13 over 8, 21 over 13. Now, I'm going to keep repeating this. So you were saying uh, a moment ago, what if you had 10? Well, this would really help you out. Just make sure you've got to count 10 times then. Um, but let's see what happens if I keep going with this. Oh, it's stopped, hasn't it? Yeah? Uh, it's kind of reached this value and it doesn't seem to be moving from here. Yeah, yeah it's, that's the word. We describe this sequence as convergent. Okay, so that's a uh, vocabulary you need for the exam. And they could say in the exam, 
is this sequence convergent? And the only way you can really know for certain right now is um, by just testing it out on the calculator. Yeah. So the vocabulary you need here is this sequence is called uh, convergent. Let me just write that down. This is convergent. But we haven't really said convergent to what though? Now we have a rough idea on the calculator. We roughly think it's about 1.61. But we might be wrong because there could be some numbers after the 9 here, right? Because our calculator is not showing it. So we have a rough idea that it's convergent to about 1.618, roughly. Okay. Does anyone know what you say if uh, it's not convergent? What's sort of the opposite of convergent? Divergent. Yeah. So we'll come back to this one in a second here. Uh, oh no, actually we'll do, we'll do another one here. Using your calculator, I want you to see what happens with the following sequence. Does it converge or does it diverge? So let's uh, say... un plus 1 equals not a 4 a 4 as well these are all 4 let's see not 5 Four and one. Okay, uh, we'll say one plus un, and this time uh, the question tells you to start the number five. Okay, so I want you to have a look at this sequence and uh, calculate the first few terms and see if you can judge if it will converge to an answer or if it diverges away from an answer. And you can use the calculator function I showed you earlier as well. Yes, it's looking divergent, isn't it? So what's the next term? Six. Yeah, and the next term? Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 So is this moving anywhere? No, it's uh, moving away infinity so we say this is divergent okay let me give you another sequence once again tell me what's the behavior you have to type this in carefully on the calculator uh, let's Start at one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I screwed that up. Um, U N. And let's start at one. Well, yeah, what's the next term, so? Zero. Zero. And then the next one? Two. Two. And then the next one? That's all. What do you mean, that's all? What? Oh, you're saying it's stuck at two now. Yeah, yeah okay, so it's two all the way. So this one is clearly convergent. Okay, one more, one more. Um, un plus one equals minus un. And we'll start again at uh, minus one. Yeah, what do we think this is doing? 
Yeah, so what's the next? So it starts off minus 1. What's next? Minus 1. Minus 1. And so on. So technically, is this convergent or divergent? Divergent, technically, because it's not moving towards a single point. But there's, there's actually a special type of divergent sequence. It has an interesting behavior. What's happening? Periodic, yeah. It's periodic. It's repeating itself. Okay, so you could also say this is periodic. Okay? It's, it's stuck in a loop. Because as soon as you get back to here, you where you were at the start. <laughs> okay. You got that? No. Not periodic? No, okay. So, these aren't very big questions. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll say ABC, 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 and then a number four. Get a start on those for a few minutes and then yeah, then we'll go on to something else. Say again? five minutes and then we can take a little break then after that because the next lesson is also quite easy there's not much to do in it so yeah well these finish them at home if you don't get them finished they're all very, they're all very short <laughs>